today's video we're going to be using the iron armor truck bed coating we're also going to be using this this is the u-pull raptor liner spray gun you can pick this spray gun up over at o'reilly's and we also have a bottle that we picked up an empty raptor liner bottle for this right here to go into so what we're going to be doing we're going to be shooting the inside of this bed right here with this you can pick this up at harbor freight it's around 60 to 70 dollars in between with tax it's ready to shoot all you gotta do is just pour this in hook up the air and start shooting it does require one hour in between coats and at least a quarter inch gun so there we have it so we're going to go ahead and we're going to spray this on i do have a video using raptor liner on several truck beds in previous videos this is the first time I've used this iron armor. So let's go ahead and see how well this stuff shoots. This is what I used to thin it out. This is the U-Pull UP 2323 standard. You can get slow or fast hardener. And this is what I used to reduce it and help to harden it so that it dries real good. Um, just put it in there till it, you know, just starts to get a little bit thinner than that thick paste. And you don't have to add much, just a little bit. And I just added some into a mixing cup here and you can see it's the consistency of it it's able to run off my paint stick so that's that's how i mix it up so now let's go ahead and get back to the bed i have a paint shaker that's what i'm using just to go ahead and mix up that, that bed liner material so that i don't have to use a stick but you can also use a paint skirt stick to mix it up okay let's go ahead open this right here up see what it looks like on first initial open up okay there you have your gel that's what it looks like so now we got to pour all this into that wrapper liner can now this this is one of the wrapper liner cans now i'm used to shooting the wrapper liner where you have to mix it this does not require mixing uh, you can also roll it on but it doesn't look as good as shooting it on so we're just going to use this empty bottle here pour it in and see how well it shoots this is an example of shooting it direct out of the can this is without mixing it with the hardener reducer 2323 and you'll see how splotchy it is so now let's go ahead and show you it after mixing it with the reducer Okay, this was without thinner. This is with thinner. So you can see the texture lays on a whole lot nicer than this texture. So let's go ahead and shoot it. Okay, this is the very first coat, so everything's real light right here. You can still see some of the color through it. We push it out here, let the sun dry it, and then after an hour, we'll go ahead and lay on our second coat. I just sprayed the finishing coat on it. It's still wet. You can still see in some areas it's not dried in dull like some of the rest. But here you can see the texture it leaves. It doesn't leave any different texture than what the Raptor liner itself did. And this right here is a lot cheaper than the Raptor liner. And it sprayed on really well. So that's going to be it for the video. Uh, still got to let this dry off for another couple hours. Uh, and all this right here will dull in together real nice, just like this. So we have a real nice texture right there. So rather than buying the Raptor liner, I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch to this brand since it's a whole lot cheaper. 
So that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I see the comment.